just hard to believe that this really exists, that there's this much ice in the world. Just finding our first bear on the ice floe. Uh, he's about a half mile out. We're sneaking up on him, being very, very quiet. So um, we're hoping for a good view. Of course, one of the things that a lot of people will have the highest hopes for is to see a polar bear. And at this time of year, this is a fabulous time of year to see polar bears at Svalbard because they're still utilizing the ice for hunting. It's big, it's beautiful, and it's just captivated everyone. Fabulous, unbelievable. I got the job. It was awesome. Wonderful. It is amazing. It's his world and we're in it. And that's a good thing. It's a good thing. I live in an urban area, Evil. It's somewhere else. I've got to worry about how I get home, get through the commuter traffic. Oh, it's too bad the bears are in trouble. But you come here and it's like, I'm in trouble. The bear's in trouble, I'm in trouble. This is just a hard connection. The difference between an expedition and a cruise, to me, is significant. A cruise is you want predictability, you want safeguards, you want security, you want comfort. On an expedition, you can have all those things. but. You're also accepting mystery, doubt, uncertainty, and some risk. You're saying, bring on the adventure. I want to learn. I don't want to be entertained. You can go back and see your work differently, see your family differently, see your life differently. Uh, an expedition can be life-changing. A cruise cannot.